Thanks so much. Uh, so my name is Satyadru Sengupta, and I run the insurance practice at Data Robot. Uh, it's very excited to present Data Robot to you today. Uh, we'll be talking about three things, right? Number one, a little bit more background about the company. Number two, why we exist, right? And number three, I'll be showing you the product. So we give meaning to your data. We give a platform to you so that you can generate predictions and insights from your data. And that is going to help you tremendously in making superior business decision in a very transparent and interpretable way and very independently. So a little bit about the company. So Irene talked about it. Let me actually give a little bit more details. As she was mentioning, we are founded in 2012, five years ago, little more than five years ago, uh, by two gentlemen from Travelers Insurance. So we are very unique in the sense we are not just solving insurance problem. We have a heavy presence in banking and fintech. But we are one of the insurance companies or technology company that was founded by people from insurance. I previously worked at AIG, Liberty Mutual, and Deloitte Consulting Insurance Practice, and so on. Now, we have globally 300 people. We have business in Switzerland and Germany. And right now, we are expanding business in these two countries. We already have quite a bit of business in UK and, of course, in US, Canada, Singapore, and Japan. So what we really do as a company, we take the best practices of data scientists and we tap into open sources, predictive modeling algorithm or machine learning, as you are like, you know, hearing a lot about them. We are putting that in a software and we are automating that tremendously in a, in a very high degree so that you can develop, deploy predictive models. And throughout that process, you can actually tell a whole lot of stories about the data that is going to help operationalize all these things. It will help communicate with the regulators. It will help communicate with the customer and consumer. Okay, so that's what we are doing as a company. Second question is why we exist. A very fundamental question that every startup should ask that what is the social need? Why we need to be there? Uh, we are actually living in a very exciting time People are calling it World Economic Forum. It's calling it Fourth Industrial Revolution. And at the core of Fourth Industrial Revolution is the digital economy. Data is everywhere, right? A lot of InsurTech today and yesterday, we have been presenting on how we can tap into different sources of data. Internal data, traditional data, external data, passive data that is continuously getting generated from the smartphones and everything. But data itself does not have any value. We have to have a mechanism that can create predictions from that data so that you can actually take a superior business decision. For example, in the life insurance, you want to automate underwriting. So you have to learn from what you have done in the history and automatically accept or reject applications. There would be a gray area where you do not know what to make decision by machine, so that, that little portion will go to manual review. You will give a superior experience to your customer because you can, in the real time, underwrite. In the property casualty, the United States in 2016 lost $80 billion in fraudulent claims. So identifying which claim, incoming claim, is a fraudulent as soon as possible is an extremely important component. My like the lady before me, she was talking about Hurricane Sandy, right? In a disaster situation, when you have a tremendous amount of claims coming in your door, Predictive models help you to understand what is the severity of that claim, and you can pay them very quickly, right? So if you know that this claim could be settled for a smaller amount, but as soon as possible, customer actually take that and go away. So you can reduce operational expense, you can reduce total loss cost by really shortening that time. So that's basically like, you know, what is predictive analytics is doing to insurance. Now, generating these predictive models are extremely difficult. There are three fundamental problems of creating this mechanism called predictive analytics. Number one, only a handful of people can develop all these mathematical models. They're known as data scientists. The term was coined in 2012. There are not many of them, and there is almost rarely you'll find someone who will know insurance or a domain, as well as a good mathematician or statistician who'd be able to develop these models. So development is a problem. Deployment is a bigger problem. You, it is very difficult to integrate these predictive models into your IT system. So that's another challenge. So developing these predictions, then integrating them into your system. Third one is very profound. 
if you really look at any insurance companies today, large or small, data science or predictive analytics is happening at the corner. It is not the core capability of your organization. But in this modern world, in 21st century, it has to be a core capability. And only way to do that, when you take this capability called predictive analytics and give it to everyone, right? That does not mean that everyone is going to become a data scientist, but it just means that everyone would be part of that whole process. They have an ability to understand what is happening, okay? So in the next uh, four minutes, let's really look at how we do that. So this is the application. So we are hosting it in cloud. Almost for all insurance companies, we really install data robot on the server inside the company so that you do not have to send your data to us. And uh, it is a very simple and intuitive framework, right? We have 150 plus data scientists and engineers who are continuously developing this algorithm. So I'm going to showcase that how we solve a predictive analytics problem. What we are solving today is an important problem in health insurance and healthcare. We are going to predict which patient is going to come back to hospital a second time. Right? It's a very valuable problem because it gives a very bad experience to patient if they're going to come back to hospital too quickly. Insurance company actually will not pay for that kind of like, you know, repeated visit, and hospitals will lose uh, like, you know, the rating. So that is the business question. The second component is the data. Every row in this historical data is a patient information. What happened in the past? If it is false, that means this patient did not come back. If it is true, that means patient came back. And you have different characteristics. So what machine learning or predictive analytics really does, it extracts this complex data, like patterns from this complex data. Human being is not capable of doing that, right? I want to highlight a very important thing. We do text mining. So whatever claim adjusted notes you have or underwritten notes you have, you can just throw into the platform. And data robot will be able to give you keywords, will be able to like, you know, generate predictions from there. So step number one is upload this data. I have that data on the desktop, so I'm just uploading it, and that is happening in the real time. And as soon as you upload the data, data robot is understanding what are the elements we have in the data, which one is a numeric, which one is a categorical, how many missing values you have, and how many outliers you have. It will actually do a whole lot of pre-processing, another very important thing, on the data so that it is ready for generating predictions. Now, as it is doing it, it is really learning like, you know, what is in this data set. So we have the historical data. I can click on any of these, and you will see like, you know, what you have in this data set. But what is really important here, let's tell the machine or the robot that I want to predict readmitted. I want to predict who is going to come back. And I have everything then. So we discuss the business problem. We discuss the data, uploaded the data, tell, told the machine that this is what I want to predict. I'm going to hit the Start button. As soon as I do that, data robot is all ready to actually run predictions. And that's what it is doing on the right hand, left-hand side, right in this side, actually. Now, for the sake of time, I'm switching to a completed product demonstration, OK? So the end state will look like this. You have all the predictive models listed here. And as a user, you will be able to choose that this is the model that would be actually fitting in my context. So all these models are listed based on their predictive accuracy. It's very similar to Google search. If you search something, DIA Munich, it is not going to return a single page to you, but it will return like, you know, several things like, you know, based on their relevance. Every one of us would be choosing what is really that what we are looking for, right? So the same idea here. Data robot is giving you a listed models of this is the most accurate model, second most, and so on. So that's how we actually develop models, a very accurate, diverse, open source algorithm. That's number one, development piece. What I'm going to show you, how we integrate the model now. So you can click on any of the models, and if you click on them, there is this thing called deployment. And with that deploy model, you can actually generate them with the API. So application programming interface is basically what we do. And along with that, we generate hundreds and like, you know, really tons of uh, insights from this data. So all those text data will give you, like, you know, what are the keywords. It will also tell you, like, what are the important variables and so on. It will also tell you what is behind each and every predictions. Okay? So that is basically what it's doing. Developing models, deploying models, and telling a story. We have a zero, uh, no cost proof of concepts, so we, you can take the platform and apply your data and see how it is working for you. Thank you so much, everyone.